your initial um, draw to Stradbally? Well, I suppose um, I was born in Radani, which is not too far from Stradbally, so we're always kind of aware of um, these buildings. And um, I suppose to answer your question, um, it's kind of the fascination of the old rune um, had originally kind of sprung the idea for something that could happen here and um, it kind of grew from there. And what was your, did you always have a vision to kind of use these buildings for something artistic? Did you always kind of have that dream in mind? Yeah, um, it was basically just for a home to live in initially and um, then it kind of grew organically and initially there was one artist and then there was two artists and then we kind of arrived to where we are today and of course there's more to do and lots of potential so. Right, yeah, that looks sort of respectful. You want to kind of get that sort of drum effect? Yeah. Yeah. So, here's one she made earlier. Here's one that I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long have you been uh, working in Sweden? Um, I think I'm here about, oh, 2002, so, what, S about six years, seven? Yeah, <laughs> nearly a decade, <laughs> nearly a decade. Not quite, not quite. This is just the starting, kind of flows well, into what it wants to be. Yeah, like after a while I'll stand back and I'll see, um, I'll see something developing in it. As it, it, my eye will be drawn to something I think I like it, the way that's developing and I'll go back in and develop that up and then I know it only looks like scribbles at the moment but you know that's the way it starts. In the Malta studio I've been here three years and I came here straight out of NCAD so it was like you know it was kind of um, frightening at first because oh your own studio and you're out on your own and you don't have your yeah. lectures yeah, kind yeah, of say yeah. what do you think of this and what do you think of that so what I had to do was well, I had the other artists like Gemma and Stacia they were here before me so because they were more established than that I could kind of bounce off them for ideas and they were very helpful to me I have to say in that way you know and uh, you know you're there in the studio I was actually in the other studio first and um, you're kind of working there on your own and it's kind of scary but after like I'm settled now and I know I'm kind of more I know my identity more now as an artist so like it's better for me. We opened the studio in August, the 1st of August actually. Mm -hmm. We were here maybe two weeks before just to prepare a studio and bring all the kings and everything with us and then we actually start working on the 1st of August of 2007 so it's nearly well, it's more than two years in operation at the moment. Generally, um, art centres such as here are, are tend to be related, um, based in very um, scenic areas mm. or else in a city centre. Um, it's a little bit different in Stradbally because even though it's, it's um, a nice village, it's not in any particular beauty spot or anything that's seen as a very touristic area. Mm. Um, which is good because for lots of artists it's just kind of the reality of life. We're not in any kind of bubble. Mm -hmm. So um, I think somewhat it's, it's more down to work and it's, I think the art probably reflects that as well. Do you find it easy to work here? Yeah, good yeah. Space, like? it's ideal because, uh, because of the age of the building mm. the walls are you know have that thickness uh, so it kind of provides me with that sort of seclusion and solitude you know that you need yeah, for your daily down. yeah even though we're right kind of on the main street you know and uh, light wise it's just like you know with the big skylight here it's ideal for what i do with sculpting and, and mm. painting and generally I, I like old buildings so you know, it's nice to kind of be able to come into work to somewhere that you actually like to spend time in, you know. If you want to be totally here with yourself, this is the best place to, to be like. And you can stay here. I mean, I've often been here for hours on the end and there'd be nobody around. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't hear it, even though there's people around outside. You just wouldn't hear them here or the traffic. So it's great in that way, you know. It's the artist place. So we are all connected on some kind of way. And the other thing is that uh, 
the place itself is lovely situated and the studio suit us very well so everything works well like we can concentrate off on our walks we can actually get some ideas from Stradbally and the people which are based here so everything seems to cooperate initially we i had a studio building in dublin mm. and um with the celtic tiger um it's eventually that building was sold and then it's allowed us the possibility to develop here mm. so um, in a nutshell, that's the background, yeah. For sure, you will miss the city, all right, because there's lots there that you don't have in the country. But um, um, again, you know, the tranquility and the peace and the more space um, has definitely has advantages too. So it's kind of one against the other. Mm. The last place that I was in was uh, the Gate Lodge in um, Ballyfin. Mm. And uh, it was beautiful sort of surroundings for it to go walking and, you know, very inspirational, but it didn't have a lot of space and uh, it was quite damp and uh, it lacked light as well. So I suppose the dampness <laughs> wouldn't be good for paintings. No, yeah, if you want paper and stuff like that, it's a bit tricky, you know. Yeah. But uh, the heating, I suppose, did leave a little bit to be desired, but that kind of goes with being an artist usually, isn't it? Yeah, cold and miserable. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, by contrast, being here, you know, it's, it's lovely and uh, bright and airy and plenty of space for storing things.